welcome back to My Little Book Nook. Today we will be reading Chapter 1 of Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing by Judy Blue. Chapter 1, The Big Winner I won dribble at Jimmy Fargo's birthday party. All the other guys got to take home goldfish in little plastic bags. I won him because I guessed there were 348 jelly beans in Miss Fargo's jar. Really, there were 423, she told us later. Still, my guess was closest. Peter Warren Hatcher is the big winner, Miss Fargo announced. At first, I felt bad that I didn't get a goldfish, too. Then Jimmy handed me a glass bowl. Inside, there was some water and three rocks. A tiny green turtle was slipping on the biggest rock. All the other guys looked at their goldfish. I knew what they were thinking. They wished they could have tiny green turtles, too. I named my turtle Dribble while I was walking home from Jimmy's party. I live at 25 West 68th Street. It's an old apartment building, but it's got one of the best elevators in New York City. There are mirrors all around. You can see yourself from every angle. There's a soft, cushioned bench to sit on if you're too tired to stand. The elevator operator's name is Henry Bevelheimer. He lets us call him Henry because Bevelheimer is very hard to say. Our apartment's on the 12th floor, but I don't know half to tell Henry. He already knows. He knows everybody in the building. He's that smart. He even knows I'm nine and in fourth grade. I showed him dribble right away. I want him at a birthday party, I said. Henry smiled. Your mother is going to be surprised. Henry was right. My mother was really surprised. Her mouth opened when I said, just look at what I want at Jimmy Fargo's birthday party. I held up my tiny green turtle. I already named him Dribble. Isn't that a great name for a turtle? My mother made a face. I don't like the way he smells, she said. What do you mean, I asked. I put my nose right down close to him i didn't smell anything but turtle so dribble smells like a turtle i thought well he's supposed to that's what he is and i'm not going to take care of him either my mother added of course you're not he's i told her he's my turtle and i'm the one who's going to take care of him you're going to change his water and clean out his bowl and feed him and all that she asked yes i said and even more i'm going to see to it that he's happy this time my mother made a funny noise like a groan I went into my bedroom. I put Dribble on top of my dresser. I tried to pet him and tell him he would be happy living with me, but it isn't easy, too easy to pet a turtle. They aren't soft and furry, and they don't lick you or anything. Still, I had my very own pet at last. Later, when I sat down at the dinner table, my mother said, I smell turtle. Peter, go and scrub your hands. Some people just might think that my mother is my biggest problem. She doesn't like turtles, and she's always telling me to scrub my hands. That doesn't mean just run them under the water. Scrub means I'm supposed to use soap and rub my hands together. Then I've got to rinse and dry them. I ought to know by now. I've heard it enough. But my mother isn't my biggest problem either. Neither is my father. He spends a lot of time watching commercials on TV. That's because he's in the advertising business. These days, his favorite commercial is the one about Juicy O. He wrote it himself, and the president of the Juicy O company liked it so much he sent my father a whole crate of Juicy O for our family to drink. It tastes like a combination of oranges, pineapples, grapefruits, pears, and bananas. And if you want to know the truth, I'm getting pretty sick of drinking it. But Juicy O isn't my biggest problem either. My biggest problem is my brother, Farley Drexel Hatcher. He's two and a half years old. Everybody calls him Fudge. I feel sorry for him as if he's going to grow up with a name like Fudge. But I don't say a word. It's none of my business. Fudge is always in my way. He messes up everything he sees. And when he gets mad, he throws himself flat on the floor and he screams and he kicks and he bangs his fist. The only time I really like him is when he's sleeping. He sucks four fingers on his left hand and makes a slurping noise. When Fudge saw Dribble, he said, Oh, see, and I said, That's my turtle. Get it? Mine. You don't touch him. Fudge said, No touch. Then he laughed like crazy. And that is the end of Chapter 1 of Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing by Judy Bloom. Check out my channel for Chapter 2. But anyways, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get notifications when I upload new videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, happy reading. Bye, guys.